Hello and welcome back. Out here today to do a little review and accuracy testing of the Silencer Co. Warlock 2 22 caliber suppressor. After a long four month wait, we finally got this thing. So today, we're going to test it out with several different kinds of ammunition and just see what this thing will do and see what kind of sound suppression we get out of it too. Hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. It's hard to see, but over there we got a target set up at about 35 yards. We're going to be shooting at that with some shoot and see target stickers on there. And we have our Ruger 1022 set up with the Tacticam FTS so you guys can see what I see. There is the new Silencer Co. Warlock 2 suppressor on top of a Tactical Solutions X Ring fluted barrel. So this thing ought to be pretty accurate as well as quiet. I know it's accurate because we shoot that rifle a lot. It's been a great squirrel gun. Now for ammunition, we've got the Norma Tac 22. The Browning Pro 22, some Remington Subsonic, some CCI Standard Velocity, and some Seller and Bellet Club. Now, all of these ammunitions are under 1,100 feet per second. This is right at 1,100 feet per second, this Norma. Now, to compare, we're going to use this Federal Target Ammo. This is 1,200 feet per second, so this is going to be more standard stuff. And I'll show you the difference between subsonic and hypersonic by comparing that after we check out the accuracy and sound suppression of those. So there's the Silencer Co. Warlock 2. It is aluminum body and aluminum clip baffle design. And the first thing we're going to do is establish a little benchmark for sound. We're going to go ahead and put three rounds of the Federal Match Ammo in it. See how that does. Three rounds just for sound. See what happens. All right, that's pretty loud. It's hearing safe, but it's definitely louder than you would think. So let's see what happens with ammunition that is below the speed of sound. All right, for this one, we're going to do five shots, both for accuracy and sound of the CCI Standard Velocity 22 long rifle at 1070 feet per second. All right, CCI Standard Velocity. Turn on my Tacticam here. Not bad. Not bad at all. And this is 35 yards, but you can tell that's a lot quieter, a whole lot quieter. The sound of the bullet hitting the target is almost as loud as the action of the gun. Now we're going to try five with the Norma TAC-22. This is listed at 1100 feet per second, so we'll see how this does and how it sounds. Not bad, certainly quiet. All right, now we're going to go with the Remington 22 Subsonic. These are listed at 1050 FPS. So keep in mind, you don't have to buy subsonic ammo. Just look at the velocity rating. As long as you're under 1100 or 1100 or under, you should be good. Whoa, do you see that? Right in there. Whoa, did you see that? Right in there. First shot was right in the bullseye, and the other four were about an inch to the left. It's kind of wild, but nice and quiet. I like that. 
All right, this is going to be the Cellular and Bellow Club. This is listed at 1066 FPS. All right, not bad. That seemed a little louder, but definitely a good group. All right, now we're going to try the Browning Pro 22. This is listed at 1085 feet per second, and we'll see how this one does. I have not shot that ever before, so that's going to be interesting to see how it'll group. Oh, it's quiet. Front row, that's not a good group. A little failure to feed there. That one seemed a little louder. Really? Another failure to feed. It's ejecting, it's just not feeding. Right, we're out. <clears throat> that one was obviously spraying bullets all over the place. The Browning Pro definitely shoots like crap out of this rifle. Your rifle may be different, but this one does not like that Browning Pro 22 at all. That would have to be hands down the worst performing of any of them through this combination rifle and suppressor. All right, the CCI did pretty good. The Norma obviously was the absolute best grouping that I got. The Remington Subsonics weren't half bad, very respectable. And the Seller and Bellow, other than this one flyer, is also a really good group. Browning, my gun didn't like it. But overall, any of those are meant at a squirrel at 35 yards. No problem. All right, now just a little playing around to try to tighten this scope setting up with the CCI standard velocities. That is hard to beat. Look at that group, y'all. That is hard to beat right there with the CCI standard velocities. That is freaking cool. 35 yards through the Silencer Co. Warlock 2 and a Ruger 1022 with a Tactical Solutions X-Ring Barrel. Great combination, quiet as can be. Definitely highly recommend that. So guys, that is the Silencer Co. Warlock 2. It took four months to get it from Green Tops. The hummingbirds seem to like it too because it keeps things quiet. There's our testing with five different types of ammunition below the sound barrier and for reference one above. Leave me any questions down there in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching. Check out some of the other shooting videos up there in the cards. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss videos like this one when they come out. That thumbs up like button sure would be nice. We'll see you next time. All right, first thing we're going to do to establish a benchmark is we're going to shoot the federal target match ammo at 1,200 feet per second. Put three rounds down range, see what that sounds like. Not worried about accuracy for this. This is all about sound. And you've got to put ammunition in it for that to work. Yeah, how would I do with the ammunition? The mag fell out. The dang mag fell out.